who and you mentioned it's uh, some new faces here. We got Carlos Correa, the big three year deal for what the 130 or 105 million dollars plus. And you, you saw uh, Gary Sanchez is there also uh, Gio Urshela. They're hoping for to bounce back last year they finished in last place but two years before that they won the, the AL Central but the key is going to be Byron Buxton and his health and he was injured had a right knee soreness earlier and here's another look and Buxton was trying to basically leg in this into a double and then right away he knew it Mike right away. Yeah I think with with the slide it seemed pretty harmless when I see him pounding the ground I was like oh man I hope he didn't feel something pop or something like that so I guess the good news is. MRI is no structural damage. Hopefully he's just gone for a week. I just think not only do the twins, baseball needs this guy healthy. You know, he's, he's electric and what he brings to the table offensively, defensively when he's right, I think he could be one of the top five players in the league. It's just that he just, he's not healthy. He, he can't, it's hard to log in those, those games for him. And I don't know, I don't want to say he's injury prone or whatever, but what do you do? What do you do to corral him? Like, I, I, don't, I don't know the solution because what makes him so electric is what he can do. Th th what we're seeing here, run into walls, go get balls, dive in head first. Do you tell him not to do that anymore just so you could play him? Well, then what he brings to the table gets diminished. So I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know the answer. I just, I just don't. I, just, I know when he's on the field, he's one of those guys when he steps to the plate or a ball hits the center field, you stop and watch and see maybe something incredible is going to happen. Well, we had the same conversations about Bryce Harper when he first came on the scene, right? It's the same thing. I mean, he was running like his hair was on fire. Every time he, he, he took off, it was like, I'm running to the wall. This is what I have to do. I don't think you can change how he plays. Um, when you think about how he goes about his business, that's just who he is. I think that's, you know, those type of things right there, I think, you know, you can actually talk to him about. But this is what we need to see. You're right, Mikey. This, I mean, this can't be on the bench. And the reason you talk about injuries for me is, I was there too. I was down that road. Every it seemed like every time you get going, you you making a left turn into the trainer's room. You know, and you get into the ballpark, and it's just not who you are. You don't. You know, you have to make time for the trainer's room. It becomes your domain. You kind of feel like this is where I belong. You, you're okay you're getting in the tub. You're okay with going in that training room and talking to the trainers. That relationship shouldn't be that good. You know, he's too young and too 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 valuable. But you can't knock him. Because the game plays is just he's unfortunately getting hurt when he goes out there all out. Well, let's show you the Buxton's injury history here and it's not just one particular place. It's, it's pretty much all over. I mean his body here. So and it's been uh, throughout his entire um, MLB career and, and, and Mike leave this up for a quick second here. And the thing about Byron Buxton too is remember he came in Mike he was a scr scrawny kid and he, he consciously put on oh, he's put on 20 good to 25 oh, yeah. pounds and it, it, it's a muscle and he went from being a guy had a leg kick and he was kind of a slasher and then all of a sudden we showed you the slugging percentage since the start of 2021 he's got the highest slugging percentage I mean now it's a limited sample because he didn't play a sure, ton a sure. year ago but the point being he's a power guy. You have to have this bat in your lineup and, and I'm sure the twins are trying to figure out how to deal with this because they gave him the seven year extension for 100 million dollars. Buxton if he's healthy is worth far more than that but Buxton wanted the security and the twins weren't willing to give him that because they're not sure if he's going to stay on the field. But at some point and even you don't want him to change how he plays but he's got to be on the field. So you, you, there has to be some kind of happy meeting. There, there has to be something and I don't know if it's specific to him running into walls and maybe maybe the game is we got to play him a little deeper so we avoid that and he'll be playing everything and I don't I don't know the solution I wish I did but the irony of that highest slugging percentage graphic was the guy right behind him is Fernando Tatis Jr. And he's missed a ton of games so my point is do we corral him and say oh we hope to get 120 out of them my problem with that is it's a still 162 game season so for 42 games that's about a, what a quarter of your season you're going to have a guy vastly inferior at that position. That's why durability for me is so valuable in the game. Not only are all these numbers great, but the durability has to be there. I, I just know when, like you said, Fran, that's a great point. When you look at a guy with the skill set of Byron Buxton, what do you say? Oh, that frame can put on weight. And it did. Yep. And it transformed yep. into what everyone hoped it would transform into. He's not the 9 or 11 home run guy. No. Ability-wise, he can be 35 to 40 yeah. plus. He just can't do it if he only plays 70 games. Right. And, and it's a shame because he's electric. I think he's a guy that the Twins can rally around. I mean, you combine him with Correa and Polanco, like that's a pretty good team. They can put together some runs. It's, 
it's hard. I think I, I feel for him because when you look at the graphic of all the injuries, how many are lack of preparation? I would say very few. Right. Right. And that, yeah. That's what hurts. Well, it hurts. I mean, I just you know when you talk about what makes them exciting is when you see them running for these balls, thinking ain't nobody else getting these balls but Byron Buxton and a couple others. Right. right? But 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 you made a point about Bryce Harper. I mean, he yeah. figured out a way to see. To, to stay on the field and then he Chill won a, a couple bit. MVPs. Yeah, you know I, I, I mean? just don't know if how that, you know, how you go about that conversation. Hey, look, you know, play a little deeper and and, yeah, and don't try hard. And don't yeah, yeah like it, that, don't that's... don't don't run out, you know, that type of ball that's a routine pop up and just end up on first. Then you get crucified, right? Then everybody can tell you you're lazy. So I I don't know what's the happy medium. We what we do know is we need more of him, right? I, I want to see him. And he's exciting. He's a, he's a game changer, but it's just, you know, and injuries. And when you look at that board, I mean, a few of them probably is from him from running into the walls. You know, a few of them is probably this and that. But the one the other day, I was like, what happened? Right. You know, like, those are little things you, you, you scratch your head and go, man. Another, another example that we're going to run a break real quick, but uh, Aaron Judge, okay, a year ago. So the Yankees came out, Aaron Boone and Aaron both, they, uh, and they, they were not shy about it. They said, we're going to do, you know, load management. And everyone kind of, especially in New York, media can be kind of tough. What's this load management? We, we, this kid's got to be out there every game. Didn't play every game, but he played 140, and he had his second best season. So they, they, they addressed a player who was having some injury issues, and they tried to figure out to make sure that they had him on the field. So it worked for Aaron Judge a year ago, and so far so good for Judge here. So something with Buxton has to I, – I you gonna I, D, You're going to DH Byron Buxton? No. And take that glove, that no. ability in center field? That, that, that's the he part that's so hard. Right, but uh, he's you, might, you might have to. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Somehow, some You mean like day game at the night game? Yeah, bingo. Protect bingo, him like that type bingo, of deal. Bingo, bingo. 